Grizzly bears are one of the largest land animals in the world and a pure apex predator. So when Randy Miller was able to fully train one for Hollywood films, no one expected the bear to ever attack. Until one day, it brutally killed Randy's cousin, completely on camera. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This is the terrifying story of Rocky the Bear. Welcome to Final Affliction. Grizzlies are one of the scariest creatures that you could face in the wilderness. These giant animals with muscular bodies would make your blood run cold. Grizzly bears are also extremely dangerous animals as they possess immense physical strength in combination with the bite force of almost a thousand pounds per square inch. However, humans are not the grizzly's usual food source. I know that we've all heard of grizzly bear attacks in the mountains, but in truth, Grizzly bears' attacks are most times usually a response to fear or feeling threatened. And just as with humans, grizzly bears don't like to be surprised. In today's story, we'll be talking about this four-year-old grizzly stunt bear named Rocky. Rocky was born and raised to perform staged attacks for the big screen with his trainer and Hollywood stunt double, Randy Miller. Rocky was also everywhere on the Discovery and National Geographic channels, among other appearances Appearances he made, but it seemed he was most famous for his appearance in the 2008 blockbuster film Semi Pro, where he starred alongside Hollywood funny man Will Ferrell. The movie depicted the two wrestling one on one on screen. However, seven weeks away from the release of the film, Rocky had gained the spotlight, but this time it was for all the wrong reasons. This is the tragedy of Rocky the Stunt Bear and the unfortunate, untimely death of. Stephen K. Miller. Stephen K. Miller was born on May 6, 1968, and was widely known as an American animal trainer, wrangler, and stunt double who had an unfortunate encounter with Rocky the Bear while making a promotional video. Miller had worked as a trainer at Predators in Action, an animal training facility operated by his paternal cousin, Randy Miller, who trains wild and exotic animals for film and television appearances. At the time, of his death, Miller was not working as a trainer, but was attempting to shoot a promotional video where he would perform a bear wrestling stunt supervised by Randy Miller. Stephen Miller was also an experienced animal trainer who had worked for Predators in Action for several years before leaving to pursue other business ventures. Surprisingly though, he was actually very experienced with bears, having helped Randy Miller raise and train a previous bear named Dakota. However, Rocky was a well trained animal and had been performing on screen without any issues. And on the day of the incident, being April 22, 2008, while filming Stephen Miller's promotional video at the Predators in Action facility, Miller was killed by none other than Rocky. As earlier mentioned, Rocky was a bear actor who was trained to wrestle humans. Stephen Miller had asked to be filmed wrestling Rocky for an advertisement. Although Stephen Miller had not been involved in training Rocky, the the plan was to first take some shots of Stephen Miller and Rocky casually standing next to each other, and then later, the staged wrestling match would begin. However, during the initial shots, Rocky stood up in his trained wrestling posture and suddenly began the staged attack too early. He had caught Miller off guard without his arm raised in the proper defensive position. Randy Miller then hit Rocky with a cane, trying to make him let go of Stephen, but according to a later statement made by Randy, the action might have unwittingly escalated the bear attack. The seven and a half foot tall, 700 pound bear, in a sharp burst of aggression, bit Stephen Miller on the neck. And after a brief struggle that lasted only about 10 seconds, the attack was put to end after Rocky's trainer squirted him with pepper spray. Initially, Stephen regained himself and ran to safety, appearing to be unharmed. But suddenly, he collapsed to the ground in not less 
less than a minute and died instantly. It was later discovered that Rocky had pierced his jugular vein and carotid artery. However, an autopsy was also later conducted and they found that he died within minutes of the attack. Following Stephen Miller's death, the California Department of Fish and Game initiated a probe into the events of the attack with the intent of eventually deciding whether or not Rocky would be euthanized. People from the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA for short, and other animal rights groups who've long protested the use of wild animals in films had called for Rocky to be spared and to be allowed to retire to a zoo or another similar facility. It was later revealed on the National Geographic Channel program, Grizzly Face to Face, Hollywood Bear Tragedy, that the coroner's office and the California Department of Fish and Game ruled Miller's death accidental and did not order that the bear be euthanized. However, Rocky was required to live under restrictions and was no longer able to have contact with persons other than his trainers. He could no longer be exhibited or used for film or TV work. Despite this travesty, Randy described Rocky as loving, affectionate, friendly, and overall a safe bear. In Grizzly Face to Face, Randy Miller has also stated that he planned to continue working with Rocky and tried to get the restrictions lifted because he believed that Steven would have wanted that. In 2012, the California Fish and Game Commission considered whether to lift the restrictions on Rocky's permit to allow him to again work in the state of California. According to Randy Miller, and Rocky's legal team, new safety protocols had been put in place. Other animal trainers and experts had supplied testimony that Rocky was not dangerous, and a petition drive had also shown that many persons from around the world supported his return to work, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture had cleared him to work, with the only remaining restrictions being in California, the location of most available work for Rocky. Following a hearing on October 3, 2012, the commission decided not to remove Rocky's permit restrictions. The Sun had also previously revealed some of the world's most horrific bear attacks, showcasing the brutal reality of the cuddly beasts. And while attacks on humans are relatively rare, they can be particularly vicious, with the powerful animals able to smash skulls, pulp faces, and skin their victims alive. Rocky might not have been dangerous and must have gotten confused with his part of the script, but predators will always be predators. And whether or not you're an experienced animal trainer, never let your guard down while in the same vicinity as a wild animal, or else it's likely that what happened to Rocky might repeat itself. If you guys have any other true horror stories you'd like me to cover on this channel, let me know in the comments below and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. This is Final Affliction.